Hey, it's your girl B from Be About Town, and I am back today with a show and tell of a handbag. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so we're just going to jump right in because you know I don't believe in wasting anyone's time. Now, I have a J, a JW Pay, I had to remember the name, JW Pay handbag to show you. Um, first, let me get into the details of purchasing, shipping, and all that jazz. So I purchased this bag and it took about two weeks to get here. It came in a white envelope, um, a white plastic envelope in this box. So this box naturally was inside the envelope. Now for me, that was kind of a minus only because the box pretty much got beat up in transit. And I think that they should know better than to ship a bag with a box as decent as this. This is a pretty nice box in a white envelope. I suspect that they like they figured like as long as the bag is protected and I understand that but I think this for me was kind of like a minus off of the overall experience because what if I was one of those girls that likes to preserve her boxes you know like I mean I don't know. I just didn't like that. And I'm going to toss the box. So it's not like I'm going to keep it because I really do, I'm not one of those people that keeps a lot of boxes. I do keep some boxes, but like I do, I'm not like one of those people that collect a bunch of boxes. Um, so it's going to be trashed. I kept it for the sake of doing this video. This is what the box looks like. It's, it's actually really a decent box. Um, as boxes go right uh but because it got beat up i'm going to toss it now <laughs> this is the dust bag which isn't in itself anything to write home about but it is a decent satin uh dust bag with their signature on it and yeah now you pretty much have guessed if you saw the strap peeking out the style of bag i purchased uh, this is the, I believe they call it Banton, Banton, Banton bag or something to that effect. And it comes in not just this color, but it comes in like a nice chestnut and also a cream or off-white color. Now, they have a number of bags, um, JW Pay. However, I don't like every bag they sell. I pretty much, this is more my speed this design of bag than any other bag they have. Actually, there is another bag that I like. It's kind of like a um, saddle bag, a squared saddle bag, or what I call a saddle bag, anyhow. And so I'm interested in that bag, but I said, let me go for something I really am attractive to um, at first glance and then see from there. And I was actually, I had been eyeing this bag for some time they're very affordable uh the bag was not that expensive at all and i'm i want to say it was no more than 125 dollars you know what instead of like searching through my phone forever i'm just gonna post the price up on the screen because i don't want to waste time and i you know i have things to do as do you i'm sure so this is what the bag looks like. Let me give you a close up. The signature is there, very discreet, and I really like that also, that it's not like they have their signature all over the bag. Um, unless you know the style, you wouldn't know what type of bag this is. But for me, it's very attractive. I really like this dark forest green color. It's so pretty to me. And I also like this design element. Now for me, uh, this is what, uh, you know, was a, most attractive, this like strap that it's like actually the shape of the bag, but also this strap. I just thought this was so interesting, especially if I care to carry the bag like this, which I more than likely will be carrying it that way. Uh, this top piece that keeps it together though can come off 
if you are not interested or you want to just switch up from time to time um, with how you carry the bag, you can open it up like so and carry it on your arm like that. And then you are on your way. I actually quite like that also, but I do like the, you know, the snatched, <laughs> for lack of a better word, look also. Now, let's look at how you open the bag because that's important and what fits in the bag. Let me zip this open. And it has like a magnetic opening, which is strong enough, but not too strong where you can't get the bag open. And it also has four zips in case you need to open it wider. Uh, I guess it makes it a little bit easier or more functional and that you can get in, you know, you can open it up, really open it up if you need to. Inside the bag, there are no pockets. There is just a uh, tab in the same print with JW Pay on it. It's just pretty much an opening. You There's no pockets, as I said. So anything you have in there, you want to keep that in mind in case you were thinking of you know, maybe being able to like put your money in a slot or a pocket. There are no pockets. So you're definitely going to need a wallet or card case or something to hold your ID and, uh, you know, money. Now I have my cell phone here, so I'm just going to drop it in because I want to give you some idea of all that fits. I have just a loose card case that I haven't been carrying around, but it just happens to be here. So I'm just going to toss it in. Um, I'm not into wearing wallets as much anymore. I haven't worn um, a wallet. I've been carrying a card case um, around all the time. So that's why I just threw that in, even though I have my bag here next to me. I have a lipstick here. And then, um, let me see, maybe I have a lotion in my bag. I've been carrying this stowed bag. Um, let me just say... Just a sidebar. I love this bag. Oh my God, I love this bag. Interestingly enough, I've been getting a lot of compliments about this bag. And it's so common. So I'm just like, mm, the girls have seen this bag before. Or a number of people, I'm sure. But it's just interesting how many compliments I've gotten on this stole bag. And I absolutely love it. Okay, so here is my um, keys, let me just let me close this, and then I also have a lotion, you know, you have to stay moisturized, and then I do have some shades, actually, I'm trying to figure out what shades to wear today. And I have these, these actually both pair that I was deciding to wear are fairly inexpensive. Like I have these that I absolutely love, but I'm not sure they really go with what I have on. They are very feminine. And um, if you've been here before, I showed you guys these. I actually got these from Shein uh, last year, last summer. But the glasses that I'm thinking about wearing are actually also very inexpensive glasses and I purchased these glasses because I wanted actually and was willing to spend money to get these sunglasses that Monroe still had these Gucci wide frame sunglasses but I only came across like a a teal green pair and, and that that color although pretty wasn't my vibe so I'm thinking about wearing those sunglasses today. Anyway, actually, the purpose of doing that was to, like, show you, right, sunglass case. Let's see if this fits. So far, I have my keys. I have my card case. I have my lotion, and I have my phone. Now, this fits, but it is, like, getting kind of tight in there. But what else would I use or would I need? I doubt I would carry anything more. Um, in this bag and that's it I actually really really love this bag uh, let me give you a, a, a better close up of the stitching and everything I would say this bag for me 
in terms of satisfaction is a 10 out of 10 quality is 10 out of 10 this is not genuine leather this is vegan leather uh print uh you know full crop vegan le leather bag but i i'm when i say i absolutely love this bag i do i'm very much attracted to it and i'm happy that i purchased it i'm going to be checking out some more w um jw pay bags but I'm still deciding. One bag that I'm really interested in is only about $64. Um, it's a really nice saddle bag. Uh, I'll put it up screen here. I did see Karen Britchick with that one. Uh, and I, I thought it was really nice. Like I said, this bag was fairly inexpensive also. Or like inexpensive, I know it depends on, you know, your own personal budget. Uh, and I, I'm, I don't have like money out the wazoo by a long shot. Uh, but this is for me a very uh, affordable contemporary handbag. If you are interested in contemporary handbags, this is a bag that I could definitely see me dressing up. Um, not to a formal event, of course, but like really judging up or, you know, dressing down with some flat sandals. I would just have to like figure out what pair because it is a green croc. I might only be able to get away with a few um, styles. I, I do have something in mind though for this bag, but I absolutely love it. I'm glad I purchased it. And that is the JW Pay bag. Hopefully I didn't forget to make mention of anything and I, you know, was diligent and thorough in mentioning everything besides the way they shipped the bag. Uh, everything else was a 10 out of 10. That for me was, I would give that a seven or eight out of 10 because packaging for me is everything. It's a big deal for me. Some people could care less, but I really, I really uh, care about packaging. Uh, when my items get to me, I don't need, you know, I don't need, even though this is a box that I plan to toss, I don't need that beat up. Like what? Um, just put it inside another a cardboard box to ship that because some people like to keep their boxes. What if I didn't have space to keep this bag, you know? Anyhow, that's that. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are new here, welcome. If this is your first time, welcome back. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps my channel out. And until next time, ladies, as always, take great care. Bye.